Everybody has heard of the bubonic plague. It struck England in the Middle Ages and the 17th century, killing thousands of people. It's caused by the buildup of bacteria from sewage in the streets and spread by rats. Now, you might be surprised to learn that despite England being struck twice by this terrible disease, we didn't learn from the mistakes of our predecessors. And at the beginning of the 20th century, Sydney was struck by the plague. We're in the nurse's walk area of the rocks. Now, this particular laneway slopes down towards Circular Quay. If you were walking here in the late 1800s, you'd want to be careful not to slip in the raw sewage running down the laneway. You see, there was no drainage, no plumbing, so the people would dump their chamber pots in the windows above, hoping that the rainwater would wash the sewage out into the ocean. You'd also want to be careful you weren't standing underneath the window when it happened. This particular laneway became known as the Suez Canal. These are my best shoes. By this time, Sydney was a bustling trade port, accessed by ships from all over the world. Now, Southeast Asia was suffering from a major outbreak of the plague, and it was being brought into Sydney by the rats on the ships. Now, these rats found the streets of the rocks to be a sewage surfing paradise. The plague had well and truly taken hold in Sydney with 103 people killed. So while the churches were burying the victims, the government started offering reward for every rat caught. Sort of an early example of a job creation scheme with sixpence per rat. It led to a whole new occupation, the professional rat catcher. 